Wow, lots of weather out there earlier today. Severe thunderstorm warnings were posted at around 3 to 4 p.m. time frame. Right around there, we did see those stronger storms, but not only here in Maine. That was stretching right down pretty much into New Jersey, New York City as well. Staten Island, my hometown, we did see some severe weather earlier today, and it was very hot before that rain and those thunderstorms arrived. Now, still some showers down south, closer to Providence, Cape Cod. You are talking still some showers hours in the area, but no worries. Things will continue to clear up for us, though. Remember that line of showers and thunderstorms earlier today, pretty much stretching right across the state that produced some gusty winds, heavy rainfall around half an inch fell in such a short period of time. Now things are looking a lot better. Now this is the rainfall from Thursday into Sunday slat 4th of July weekend. If you're doing anything, any outdoor plans, this is what we're potentially looking at rainfall wise. The southern parts of the state looking at a few spots sprinkles here and there, mainly Dover, Foxcroft and North. That's where we're looking at a little bit more rainfall in the area that Thursday to Sunday time frame, possibly around half an inch to an inch of rain in some spots in the, uh, the northern parts of the state. Now, dew points will continue to rise as well. For now, pretty comfortable Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. They're going to be comfortable Thursday into Friday. We are looking at a little bit more elevated dew points, so it will feel a little bit more sticky outside right in time for 4th of July. But hey, at least it's going to be warm. Look at these temperatures. Our average is right around 79 degrees. So tomorrow closer to average Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and into Friday. We are looking at above average temperatures Saturday. It looks like we're going to be a couple of degrees cooler, still hovering at around 80. That is good news for us. Anything right around that 70s and 80s. I'll take that any day. Now, if you do have any allergies, tree, grass, weeds and mold pollen will be at a low for tomorrow. So if you do have allergies, you are good to go, but still be careful outside. Um, things are going to definitely go downhill as we head into middle of the week. Now the wind's pretty light right now. Nine miles per hour in town, 12 by Rockland, but you go just to the west. We do have that pocket of some stronger winds out there by Auburn area just west of Augusta. That's where those pockets of gusty winds are in the area. Now we are looking at a few lingering showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two. Other than that, partly cloudy temperatures back in those upper 50s to lower 60s. Now for tomorrow though, temperatures right around 80 degrees, so right around our average partly cloudy skies early. Other than that, lots of sunshine. We are looking at some breezy conditions as well. Our extended forecast outlook is showing lots of sunshine outside for Tuesday into Wednesday, possibly a few sprinkles in the area for 4th of July with temperatures in those lower 80s.